Hi everyone, welcome to Activan channel. I'm young and very excited to have you with me today about Snap Nevim. There are two new things I found interesting. I want to share what I set up and what I thought about this one. And hopefully you can learn something from my video. Stay tuned. If you are new to my channel, I often release my video on Sunday, but recently I had some I scared on my side, so it's not like usual. But normally I talk about web blockchain AI, and you can find all the video I has on my people ehub.com slash jellydn slash itman channel. And you can find all the settings I published every video on my setting right away. And also from here, you can find out the snap Nevim. So I already had one video about this one. This is in my initial setup. I created this one because I found it have me really a lot of plugin if I don't want to use. In terms of snap.navim, so this is a plugin from Fork. It had a lot of amazing thing on this free ball. So if you use this one, you can redo a lot of blog plugin because for example, if you have snap ball, any ball, when you see this, which means you need to have some setup. And if you enable this one, you don't need your Navim dashboard anymore. So you can just use beautiful, simple, and they had a, a lot of presets if you want to. This is the advanced, this is the Java and something. If you want, you can just copy the setting and you on your own. And today video, I want talking about the new one he just mentioned. That's the Explorer. So this one. Basically, this Explorer is just a big curve and it help you to reduce so you don't need your nail beam tree or not anymore. Basically, you can have the key binding. So you help you to borrow the file Explorer on the sidebar or you can cut them as you want. And there's some setting for you. You can just change as you wish. And another thing I want to show that is the bigger. So for the bigger here, they had a lot of options. You you don't need to go all the thing, but from the UI, you can see this is the pretty nice UI. And you can have the thing that like you can filter by something like file rule. So then you can say this is just filter the file you want and you can search it one. And and I mentioned as probably one kind of picker, so you can choose the file by on the directory. And if they had a function interact with LSP, so you can search the symbol, it get into Ryzen, and you can also search the line. So this is the search by on the buffer file, and it's with search on the line. And there's over 40 being source, so you can choose and interact to you. The, the way I mentioned here is quite simple. The one you just need to have the option bigger anymore. Then this is the default. So if you want to customize something, you just copy one of them, put in your setting and just change a little bit. And I will show you my setting later on. But this is the flow and you can see all the key binding, all the setting. And the easy way, this is the setup. You just copy this one and they has list all the default suggestions. I think this is fantastic because this is exactly what I had. I just copy all the thing and adjust to what I want. For the demo, I'm going to use lazy beam. So this, if you use lazy beam, you can go to HR and search for snap bigger. So with this mean, when you enable this one, you can have all the amazing from Snap Picker. So yeah, this one, you just, so this enable. So after enable with Lady Vim, I just quit and open again. At this moment, it's already set to Snap and I can open the file, for example, here I can open to see the, the setting. And if I spy F E just now you can see this one, you can see the this is the default explorer. And if you can custom to the what you want. So maybe you have the floss window. Or oh, this is the 
the setting you want. And for me, I, I don't want to change anything here. I just leave it E. And if I don't want, I just remove like under enable HR. So I can go to snap picker and I just, okay, say I don't want, so I just need to restart. Okay, that's the from lazy film. And for my setting is similar. I have this one. So this is my setting. I already have the snap file and I will explain what I had on this one. And you can also find this one on my repository. So it has something like no next band. So this is the building I use right now. So it's central, the buffer, so easy to see and read. And I have that option. Let's say I want to switch between snap pickers or FPS lure plugin. So I just said this is the flash. And I the similar. So this is the file manager. I use I file is for that is because many the file as the buffer. And just another one as I mentioned, I if I don't want I just disable. And when you use snap dot mvim you can disable a lot of things like took a term mini remote mini cursor world notify dashboard minus yen most yeah a lot of things i when you this one you just disable and this is just like our management you you don't need to this one this flash integration so it does something nicer but for the more important here this is the config for me so the bigger here and we move to the top maybe just off center so this one, I just have the flash enable or not enable. And for the source file, I will say, by all the setting, you can say this hidden files will by the default. When I open the file like spy spy, it will have the hidden file. So the edge here, the hidden file. So that 92 file. And if I want, like I can use the I to the inner file. So git inner and this is hidden file and just something you want to change you can do this one as one more thing like hello layout i want i don't want the this is the theme i want i want the backdrop with like a change different color so this is like black and it's good on my eyes so i change this one so i use backdrop and another thing i want to change it to the file name for master so the, the for behavior is the final will be at the end of for example so snaps here so it will be like the folder then the final name at the end but i want to start the final name of first with same behavior with fdf and lua that's why I'm using another thing i enable this is git native so it will have the something like space ds so it's a git status and it will have git integration nicely online so depending on you, 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 Delta or something similar, it will have a nice UI on the deep. Uh, I don't use icon. So I just, for me, when I open this file, I don't need to tell what is the file icon. So it's just, it's about this one. And, and some time if you want to some customize, like open the big curve and you want Press escape to close. So this is the behavior so you want to bind in that one with two modes and more and no more modes and insert mode. Uh, another thing, this is the default. Like on the mask, my will be you edge for something already. So I don't want that sky bidding. So this is the way you like you disable. This is a disable a schema. And you can create a new one. So it, basically, I just you the bring map from a to dot to talk good hidden file. So th this, this is pretty much what I have for bigger. And then I had dashboard, I had yens mode, I had indent mode, I had so basically I had all thing here. And then another one is the explorer. For explorer I had simple one. I just say when I you let the E, so right now let the E, this will open this explorer and I can open the file and when I open the file, it will close the thing I, I don't want. For some of this one, I don't see anything. I can change to insert mode and it's something 
the assist so I can show something off. Like, let me show one more time. For example, I open, let me like this plugin called combination. So I enter is we open the file and this close. So this is the, this is behavior close. Yes, correct. When it select a file and I set to current file the, the window. So if the file open, so you see here, so it, it will show my snap under the HR. This is the file. And if I open the init file, now this is init, so I open the file again. So now it's, it's will be now on the root and you see this all the structure. This is the file. And that's, that's the one the behavior I want. And one more thing. The, if you see the string source, the explorers will be on the left. But I found I, I want a new way. The, the way I do it, I prefer it like a central, so I don't move my net a lot. So this is my prefer. So I just like floss window on the central and I can navigate easily. So that's pretty much what I set up. And you can see here, I copy Bisco default this other behavior all behavior from the documentation like my buffer, my all, my config, my five, I guess. So all the thing here is so just no more thing. And one special here on my config here, I didn't show on last video that the about LSP. So if it's LSP here, so they have something already provide from snap dot nvim that it provide you can you all the thing from LSP here. And this is just normal. You can have lazy gate. You have all the thing on this one. And if you interest on my configuration, you can check out on my GitHub repo, github.com slash yellivian slash my new vim and vim IDE. So from here, you can see all my setting, how I set up and the justice, the screen source, what I set up here. I will all change a lot. So it's maybe it's outdated, but all the thing here, it is the one I have right now. And the tip and also another video I made about new view. So stay tuned on this repo and check out on follow what I did. If you found something interesting, also please comment and let me know. All right, thank you everyone. If you have any feedback or comment on this video, let me know. In general, I love this plugin, but still I, I found myself like this it's quite new and it has some error because it's quite fast on development. So I still prefer after the loop and the bigger and the oil at the fine explorer. However, I just switch on and off while sometimes like I just try to give in, in a normal flow to get the feeling how it's stable, how it's working. And then I hope this will be stable in it few months that I can remove or migrate all things to snap.nevbeam plugin. Bye bye.